ABC6 News continues with Walter Cryan and April O'Dell. You've heard it before. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Tonight, as part of our series, Success on Six, we show you an amazing device that's letting quadriplegics do just that. ABC6 reporter Suzanne Peugeot joins us now live in studio. Hi, Suzanne. Hi there, April. The company is called Cyberkinetics. They make a device called BrainGate, a device that opened up a whole new world for a man who can barely move. 25-year-old Matthew Nagel was paralyzed three years ago after a stranger stabbed him in the neck. Now he's doing something right out of the twilight zone, something that was impossible until now. He's actually moving this computer cursor simply by thinking about it. I just thought it. I said, cursor, go up to the top right, and it's it. And now I got control of it all over the screen. It's wild. Matthew is the first patient in a clinical trial to test a new device. The BrainGate device is a way of going around that damage and getting the intentions in the brain to move out to the outside world again. BrainGate is a sensor the size of a baby aspirin implanted in Matthew's brain that actually analyzes brain activity. It reads his thoughts. This is the part of the product that actually is on the surface of the brain and goes in one millimeter. So the tips of those electrodes are near the neurons that we're trying to measure the firing of. The activity is, is, is a, a series of pulses from each of maybe a few dozen neurons. Cyberkinetics uses a mathematical formula to decode the signals. They're not so complicated that we can't read out the little pulses of the brain and say that a lot of pulses might mean for that cell it's signaling go to the left and a few pulses for that cell means it's signaling go to the right. So it can be interpreted obviously. A metal port on Matthew's skull is wired to a series of computers. He's going to open the first email. Now he can open email, play a simple video game. Now I'm going to channel up. Even control the television, the light switch or the thermostat. For Matthew, that kind of power is simply astounding. After my injury, I was depressed for, for two years, very, very depressed. It's been three years now, and, um, you know, this brain gate's been unbelievable. The ultimate goal is to create a computer connection between the brain and the muscles that would bypass a spinal cord injury and let people like Matthew feed and bathe themselves, maybe even walk again. It would give me some independence. And uh, for me, that'd be wonderful. We aren't there today, but we are going to get there. And the FBA, FDA has approved a pilot project of five individuals, so Cyberkinetics needs four more volunteers, quadriplegics, who can help pioneer this medical breakthrough. And you can go to our website, of course, ABC6, for more information on that. Four volunteers they need. Right. It's an amazing story, even at this point. Maybe. You never thought something you never thought possible. No, and I imagine this could have implications for people with other diseases, maybe ALS. Any other disease that involves a spinal cord injury, something that really gives new hope to people who've been suffering for many, many years. Great story, Suzanne. Suzanne, thank you. All right, turning to the weather now tonight, a little calmer tonight than it was 24 hours ago.